So right now we are in the quality checking lab of this particular theory. So here I have with you one of the staffs of this theory who is going to explain how the quality checking is done. So basically after the milk sample is brought to this lab, the quality of the milk that is received is checked. So how it is checked, what are the parameters that are checked is going to be explained. So ma'am could you please explain what you do over here. Hello everyone, myself Priyanka Rao and I'm working here as training Jewel executive. So basically this lab is known as raw milk receiving dog lab where we are checking the various samples which are received by the bulk milk tankers. So uh, uh, we are collecting the milk from the society people and they are bringing some samples over here. There are different different parameters like fat, SNF and uh, uh, we are also checking the adulteration like water addition or uh, some salt or sugar or sucrose or there are various other parameters um, and uh, then since we are directly dealing with the society members we have to be very careful in regarding checking those parameters so some, let us show you the various parameters in our machine okay so once we receive the samples we are checking the samples over here this is our ft1 machine and this machine shows some parameters like fat, SNF, protein, lactose, TS, acidity, salt and these are adulteration. When you move further, there are adulteration parameters. So right now we are in the processing and process control plant of this particular dairy. So I have with me two of their executives. On my right is Mr. Patel who is the chief plant engineer in this particular uh, lab and on my left I have the chief executive engineer of this dairy. So I am going to request them to speak about this particular uh, lab and the facility that they have, what is the processing that is done, how it is being done, all the details. So could I request you sir to speak a yeah. few words about how it is being done. Yeah. Uh, here, this is milk processing unit. We have a centralized milk processing unit. Uh, here we are uh, nine plants and uh, which uh, we are pasteurizing milk. The pasteurizing milk uh, remove all bacteria or pathogens from milk and uh, make it uh, safe to uh, safe, safe for human consumption. Here uh, we are processing and processing. We are uh, having different sections uh, like uh, hot water section, regeneration section. Mm -hmm. And so in the, the irritating section, we are heating the milk uh, to uh, 78 to 82 degrees centigrade. It will make uh, all bacteria removed. And immediately we are cooling the uh, milk uh, mm -hmm. uh, below 4 degrees, uh, which inhibits the growth of bacteria okay. uh, subsequently. Okay. okay. So how, how, is, how is it uh, working over here? Uh, you have a number of instruments that are there. Yeah, we, are, we are nine plants. Nine, nine plants are there, so we are, you are going to explain yes. inside how it is being done. Yeah, yes. So I now have with me Mr. PC Patel, who is the instrumentation engineer of this particular plant. So sir, could you please explain about the instrumentation facility that you have in this plant? Hi, myself uh, PC Patel, sir. I am looking after uh, all the uh, instrumentation related uh, activity. Uh, for uh, all the dairy plants. Uh, if we are uh, talking about this particular plants, uh, uh, instrumentations, uh, basically uh, the individual temperature control loops are uh, installed uh, on each and every uh, uh, pressurizers. Uh, the temperature uh, uh, loops includes the RTD uh, sensors, uh, I2P converters, then some microprocessors based controllers and uh, uh, finally for controlling the temperature, sir, uh, it is uh, pneumatic controls uh, uh, valves. Uh, apart from uh, individual set uh, controls uh, loops, sir, uh, there are certain uh, uh, level sensors are uh, installed on each and every uh, milk silo uh, to see the actual levels of milk in each uh, in, uh, uh, silos. The level sensors are installed sir, it basically uh, a hyd hydrostatic types and working on uh, strain gauge uh, principles. Okay. So, how we, what are the different other sensors that are there? Only level sensors? Uh, uh, no. Uh, all uh, each and every 
each and every level sensors are of uh, hydrostatic types. Hydrostatic. Earlier, so mm. we are installed, uh, we were installed uh, infrared type. Okay. But uh, uh, there are, uh, we are facing uh, some uh, level uh, level sensing problems due to uh, forming of uh, forming of uh, forming uh, happen in the uh, uh, milk. Okay. So these level sensors. Uh, the sensor data are all available through some console somewhere? Uh, no, uh, basically uh, individual uh, controls panels uh, are installed uh, with uh, indicators. Uh, so through these indicators basically you are able to see yes. the status of the different instruments. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Now we are at uh, uh, alcohol rooms of process sections where we can see the, the how uh, 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 how the uh, uh, hydrostatic level sensors and temperature uh, sensors are uh, installed on uh, milk silo to see the level uh, level of milk, milk and uh, temperatures of uh, milk silos we can first see the uh, uh, see the temperatures uh, sensors uh, called rtd sensors and this one is a hydrostatic uh, level sensors. Uh, from where uh, uh, we take the uh, outputs uh, to, uh, to uh, some uh, indicators uh, to see the actual uh, level of milk uh, in a milk silo. Uh, how uh, we install uh, the milk silo uh, indicators and uh, temperature indicators? Uh, where we can see the in, uh, top of uh, first row uh, three. Uh, three uh, level uh, indicator uh, indicator uh, indicators are installed uh, in first one we can uh, see 12 uh, where uh, the multiplication factors uh, is uh, thousands uh, so uh, in uh, in silo number one uh, there uh, there is a uh, 12000 uh, uh, liters of milk are there sir. and in second row uh, the, uh, subs, uh, respectively, uh, temperatures and uh, indications are there. Uh, now uh, we are at uh, um, uh, milk pasteurization plants, uh, uh, where we can see uh, uh, here too much cloudy uh, uh, cloudy area is there. So uh, 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 I can speak uh, uh, too much loudly so that you can hear. Uh, uh, so uh, hear uh, correctly. Uh, now uh, this is this is a uh, this is a temperature microprocessor based uh, level uh, temperature uh, controllers uh, and this and this is a uh, uh, temperature scanners uh, uh, here we can see the num uh, numbers of uh, different different type of temperature uh, temperatures of particular uh, milk pasteurizers uh, we uh, we can see uh, and from here so we can uh, take the data to our uh, to our computers uh, uh, by uh, Ethernet uh, uh, connection. Now uh, here, this is a diverter valve. Uh, the diverter valve is activated when the particular temper heating temperature uh, goes below the uh, uh, set points, uh, so that uh, so that uh, it can be uh, read. Uh, read uh, comes into recycle area. Now, this is a pneumatic valve. Uh, by, by means of uh, uh, pneumatic valve, we can uh, control, control the uh, temperatures of particular uh, according to uh, set point at uh, uh, controller. So right now we are in the powder processing plant so from milk to milk powder how things are done uh, that we are going to see in how it is being done and here it is a very sophisticated plant uh, that this particular dairy has for uh, this particular uh, you know uh, powder processing uh, so i have with me the manager of this plant uh, mr parik um, mr parik could you please explain how the processing is done from milk to milk powder Okay, basically milk is a perishable product. If we want to preserve the milk for a longer time, we should convert the milk into the milk powders. Yeah, right. Uh, Dusaga Dairy Masana is uh, producing four different kinds of products. Mm -hmm. There is uh, skim milk powder mm -hmm. that doesn't have any fat, okay. that is the less fat. Mm -hmm. uh, another one is whole milk powder, which directly 
uh, if we reconstitute that powder, it will give the directly the milk which we are taking in, uh, in day to day life. Okay. Uh, another one is infant milk food, and uh, fourth one is dairy milk. Uh, the process of milk ma powder manufacturing is like the way. Mm. If we are heat, uh, we, we have to eliminate the water from the milk. Right. If we heat continuously mm -hmm. and we uh, in the open air, then the products are uh, different uh, protein and uh, other things are denatured. Right. So to preserve the milk as in as such form, okay. we are evaporating. Uh, water, water mm -hmm. from the milk okay. under the evaporation plant right. that is under the vacuum yeah, right. with the help of steam we heat the milk at and the lower boiling temperature. Okay. That and how much is the temperature? Temperature of uh, milk is uh, maximum is uh, 72 degrees centigrade okay. and the minimum is 48. We have a different effects in a evaporation plant. Okay. So the, uh, basically 1 kg steam is used for 1 kg water we have okay. But we have a different uh, effects in the plant. We have a 6 effect plant in which we, ha we are using only 150 gram steam okay. to evaporate 1 kg water we have okay. So in evaporation plant, we evaporated water and concentrate milk. That concentrated milk into the spray into the spray dryer. Okay. In spray dryer, we are spray, spraying through a centrifugal atomizer disc. Mm -hmm. Milk is spraying through the, atomizer, the centrifugal atomizer disc. Okay. And hot, with the help of hot air, which okay. temperature is around 175 to 200 degrees centigrade, right. with help of the hot air, we dry the milk, concentrated milk into the powder. Okay. Subsequently, we cool it and then we pack into the different types of powder. Okay. This okay. is the basic. Right. So for this entire process, the process control is done from this particular room, yeah. right? Okay. It is a, a, this is our basic console. Right. Uh, we have an APV invensis uh, DCS based system. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, in a one screen we uh, summarize the all whatever the required process parameter right. and we control from that. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So this is basically the distributed control system, the DCS marshalling rack and here I would request Mr. Patel to speak about it, you know, what are the different components. So some of these important components such as the processor, the field bus, the node bus, these things you have studied when we were talking about the industrial communication systems. So in that lecture you have already, you know, learnt about what is field bus, what is node bus and so on. So these things are going to be explained over here. So how this is controlling this entire plant, this is what Mr. Patel is going to explain to us. So Mr. Patel, could you please explain how it works? Yes, so we are at the uh, marshalling cabinet of whole uh, DCA systems uh, where we can identify the uh, different different type of instru uh, instruments involved uh, with the DCA systems. Here we can see the uh, two control processors are there. Sir. Uh, <coughs> One question is there, why two uh, control processors are uh, installed here? Sir? Uh, so, uh, in case of one control processor fails, uh, the another one uh, take the uh, whole uh, whole controls uh, automatically. So, this is basically the fault tolerance. Basically, yeah, you know, yeah. if, there yeah. is, uh, if one of these fails, the other processor will take over. Uh, right? Automatically, the transition, with the with transition is going to happen automatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is the uh, no, node bar, sir. Right. Uh, and this is the... Uh, uh, node bus. Uh, by, by means, uh, uh, the control processors uh, uh, communicate with the field instruments. Okay. And uh, th these are, are uh, different different type of uh, FBMs. Mm -hmm. uh, the FBMs, uh, uh, there are uh, two different types of uh, uh, field instruments uh, mm -hmm. from which uh, inputs uh, co comes to the uh, uh, DCS systems. Okay. One is the analog input and one is the uh, digital input. Okay. That blue colors uh, FBMs uh, indicates the uh, digital uh, input uh, okay. uh, com uh, come from the uh, field. Uh, uh, field mm -hmm. and uh, magnetic colors uh, indicates the uh, uh, analog inputs. Okay. Uh, these are the uh, uh, architecture uh, architectures of the DCS uh, systems. Correct. So both the analog as well as the digital inputs are handled uh, in this particular yes. uh, system. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you.
manufacturing of milk powder is divided in two process one is evaporation second one is spray drying in evaporation plant milk is heating under a vacuum in a different effects and concentration of milk is increased up to the 50% in a evaporation plant in spray dryer concentrated 50% concentrated milk is sprayed and hot air is coming in a contact with uh, it is having uh, around 200 degrees centigrade temperature both are coming in a contact and it comes under the drying chamber in a form of powder milk powder then it is packed into the different type of packing we are packing in a powder in a 1 kg pouch and 500 gram pouches this one is our infant milk food and this one is our skim milk powder the brand name of infant milk food is amul spray and skim milk powder is of sagar smb this is our butter section we will take cream for process section from cream we will make uh, this is our butter section in this section we will take cream for process section uh, we will take cream in continuous butter making from this butter is uh, production we will uh, uh, take production daily 100 metric ton in this 25 ton pack in amul butter and 75 ton production in white butter white butter for reconstitution in uh, early season and uh, amul butter various size packing 25 gram 100 gram 500 gram or 20 kg packing uh, packing per day Meal, we will collect milk from 1200 societies, 25 percent milk in can morning and evening, 75 percent milk collect through BMC. Today we will product amul butter, sagar ghee, sweetened condensed milk and mainly our product is powder, amul spray, skim milk powder, whole milk powder or amulya powder. From this or today we will dispatch for 3 lakh. 350,000 meter liter dude in various places in Mesana district. Today we will dispatch 5 lakh liter milk Daruda and Manesarawar plant. Now in first season we will lease plant, 3 lease plant for powder manufacturing plant. 
So right now we are in the Amul Dud Sagar dairy, uh, which is one of the largest dairies uh, in this particular region of the country. Uh, this is basically Mehesana district in Gujarat and um, so right from the morning uh, we are witnessing a lot of milk coming from the adjacent villages in the form of containers uh, which are loaded in trucks. Uh, also uh, trucks uh, loaded with a lot of bulk milk uh, is also coming. In the processing of these container based milk and also the bulk milk it is done separately. Uh, so uh, you know so we have seen that these containers uh, you know how how these containers are being brought from the neighboring villages and uh, then how the milk uh, is basically tested initially and uh, after the uh, initial testing for quality, quantity, etc. Uh, then, then what happens is the milk is uh, sent for further processing. And this processing happens through a very sophisticated system and this system is uh, to a large extent uh, an automated system with high-end machinery and instruments. Uh, so uh, basically what happens is lot of pasteurization, then processing of uh, the milk packets and so on, packeting of the milk uh, and so on, so that is what happens. Also what happens is uh, there are different other products this particular dairy has. Uh, so uh, products in the form of uh, butter, uh, then packeting of butter uh, and also packeting of uh, the different um, uh, you know, powder milk. Uh, all these things are done. So how it is done, this is what we are going to show you now. And uh, as you will see that, you know, a lot of sophisticated uh, system is involved in this processing of the milk to different, different products. So, uh, so initially, you know, what happens as I was telling you, uh, the milk is brought in the form of containers, uh, then there is some processing that takes place. So I am going to show you how this processing is done.